Hey guys, it's Minish, and I'm not going to make any follow-up videos on this. This is just what I missed, what I feel I need to go over and reiterate, because majority of the reception on the PRNG video was positive, because what I did and what I attempted to do was keep my personal experience out of it as much as possible, and use only the data, the raw data of my experience, and for anyone who has any numbers, any bit of AI, any bit of ability to calculate my situation related to theirs related to their own personal experience related to their friends experience and then i gave a list of tests and then i also gave a number generator you can plug it in and i also um, admitted my fault admitted that i'm not a foremost expert and i let the foremost experts the people who have the opinions worth listening to take my stuff and run with it and i think a lot of people receive that um there are a couple who didn't and again i'm i'm not really airboxing i know some people are going to hate me no matter what and i feel like we won over majority of the 60 percent that are neutral right um but yeah we maintained a 95 percent like ratio on this so i'm i'm okay with it but i don't want those who like are like minish your data point is your data is invalid and whatever have you i think a couple of them might have just not gotten the explanation because I'm the same way. I'm slow. I ask questions. I'm the kid in school who raises his hand and asks what some people consider common sense until I get it. But the majority of the point of the video I was trying to say, this is one of the comments, right, is the reason why you use these essentially empty sources that doesn't really prove or disprove anything instead of times when the devs literally said what algorithm they used, right? The whole video feels very poorly researched, sorry to say. So a lot of the biggest counter argument that people will try to spin is the devs have told us this or you don't have a large enough sample size or your data is invalid or you're a one off. Right. But you can prove through multiple data sets, through multiple encounters through everybody sharing their numbers to everybody using that encounter counter knowing their own individual experience and having an understanding of is this really how it's supposed to be happening and just seeing account account correlations over a large period of time that this isn't the case and one of the people my friend norma who messaged me this immediately after the video came out this is one of the better ones i received and i've received more than 50 messages in support some of them more credible than others right but what's expected in a one out of 30 counter and mind you i'm not actually one out of 30. i'm on donor and i have streamer privilege with charms so i am much more closer to one in 24k than any other player right but going over that, one shiny for 51,167 encounters. And again, that's a conservative estimate. It's probably closer to 55 at 1 in 24K, right? And then it goes, that's not a random variation. It's a systematic deviation. It would be extremely unlikely this amount of percent chance, let me zoom in on it, this amount of percent chance um, over this large a sample. This implies RNG is being slightly lowered. The RNG is not uniform or stateful. Seed is bad or reused. There may be unintended game side throttling. And then it says, if you're a developer, audit the RNG logic. Uh, check the per uh, user seed locking. Look at the conditional modifiers based on player state. And then this is not what I wanted to hear, but you're not imagining it. A 1 in 51k average is way too low for a supposed 1 in 30k system. And then, like, again, this is a smaller sample size. So, again, devil's advocate, this is correct. This is correct. If you want to truly say you're cooked, you're cooked depths, you need a really, really large sample size. And as the years continue, and as I continue to shot, I'm going free to play right after I hit Chikorita, because again, I'm not dumping money into a game that doesn't respect my time, effort, and grind, specifically my wallet. But over time, and I think I have a very respectfully large sample size, but we're going to see more and more this getting disproven. But when you're seeing, like, alternatively, Epoch's video that just came out, you're seeing a player hit five eggs inside of two months. And then alternatively, the eggs haven't even been taken into account. I'm about to hit 200K. You have players on an account hitting five times in two months. 
And then I, who participate in the same event, I'm who's always under donor and charm, am at about to hitting 200K. I'm about to hit eight times over odds. He hit under odds five consecutive times, right? Those are two, two. You say they're one off, but at minimum, they're suspicious. And at minimum, it like, as you saw by the value set, as you see by stuff like this, it paints a very, very negative picture. And if any of you guys want to pause and look at the, the stuff Normo sent me, right? I just put it up there. I left a couple of frames for you guys, but it points a very negative picture. And you can plug your own data into the PRG test. You can plug AI bot your own encounters. You can get your friends encounters and that's it. And we're already at the point where majority of players have their suspicions. Majority of players agree because based off our lived experience, we're seeing improbable things happen, right? And people will hide behind the negative negativity bias. People will hide behind whatever they want, large sample size. But I feel four years is a very large sample size. Four years is a very large sample size. And we were seeing people hit five egg shinies in a two-month period. And when they're making the emphasis on resources much more impactful than it was in the past with, with PRNG systems that we're currently experiencing, there's, there's cause for concern, right? And when the, when the bot is saying that you need to be audited, when you need to check your logic systems, when the bot is saying that it's not good, I, I think that's cause for some concern, right? And again, it's not empty sources. I'm giving you the tools you use, the understanding to under like to look at the system in place, put your own data sets, get a larger sample, and have, I'm sure, somebody else who's coding, because a lot of these people who are coding, a lot of these people who have claimed to have worked on PRNG, right? They're seeing the same things I am. And I am not giving a dime to this game. I'm actually looking to find alternatives because I want to keep doing giveaways for events, but I'm, I'm considering doing Pokemon cards and other things because I don't want to put any more money into this game, right? I've put in, uh, I've lit nine grand on fire for nothing. I didn't get a pixelated mon and nine grand worth of resources. And then other people are getting five, one being an alpha, in two months. And it's not just that one person. A guy in my chat had two egg shinies within 300 encounters, right? This just keeps happening. And you're seeing account to account correlations. You're seeing, like, as soon as you hit, you hit again. And what that usually means, if you look at the old video, it's a weaker PRNG seed. And if it's not PRNG seed, Oh my gosh, if it's not PRNG seed, that implies it's something else. That implies there's game-wide thr uh, throttling, and at that point, it's malicious, and at that point, it's a lot, lot worse, and we should really, really quit the game. But that's pretty much it, guys. Love you. See ya. Um, I'm listening to your comments. I read every comment, and if you don't agree, hey, agree to disagree. There's no need to be... There's no need to exalt each other. There's no need for any of that. Just agree to disagree. Say your 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 situation's a one-off is what it is. Bye. Love you. Hey, guys. Um, this is absolutely necessary that if this video is ever to be released, this part needs to be tacked on, right? So at the time of recording, this video response that I felt the need to put out, right, because I feel like logically it's just a misunderstanding right i am giving you a a formulaic thing to do to gather your own data to systematically take away the one counter argument which is our data sample not being large enough right and to give you the tools to calculate your own experience and prove over time that this is more than a correlation right because right now it's a correlation some people will even say it's a one-off right so that was essentially the whole video, right? And I talked about this dude's comments, right, here, where I said, where he said, we already went over it, is there a reason to use empty sources, blah, 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 blah. Now, this already exists in the video. And then today, I get this, right? And this is a larger problem that I think needs to be talked about. Is there a reason why you keep deleting my replies to make yourself seem better? Uh, or as something else, right?
So for anyone who's been watching my stream for any amount of time, the comments are still there. I don't really delete comments unless they're against another streamer or something that's really going to get me in trouble. I don't really delete comments and YouTube does a good job about deleting those themselves, right? And if you look at any of my old videos, you'll see comments like, where are the bodies, right? You're a fucked up piece of shit and other bad things, right? There's so many negative comments and they're still existing because I traditionally do not delete comments. In fact, when you're saying I'm deleting comments, I've already made a video response because I felt what you're talking about was worth addressing to everybody because I'm sure it's not just you who thinks this way, right? This was never a personal attack against you. And as for, am I deleting your comments? Luckily or unluckily, I'm a small streamer and I respond to every comment, right? So this is your comment right now. Is the reason you keep deleting my comments, right? And then we track it down to Dr. Shaq. All in all, the fact it needs to be, hopefully they do listen, right? So going back, Dr. Shaq, he's now at the top, all the way down to here. And you'll see Elf right here, right? And then look, Elf is now at the top. And there you are. Is the reason why you essentially need to um, use empty sources. It, there is a huge bit of irony that you are jumping to the conclusion that I am deleting your comments in questioning my sources, right? Like, again, I'm, a, I'm effectively a math teacher. I'm giving you an equation. I'm giving you references to use to prove my hypothesis because I'm not saying it's definitive. It is a hypothesis based off of lived experience and a strong correlation, right, that I went over earlier, and I don't need to touch on that. This was never a personal attack against you. Now, was the language I used rather aggressive? It absolutely was. But it was aggressive because it was saying, why didn't you do this thing? Why didn't you do this thing? And I should do the smart thing. And the smart thing is to hit a button that says hide user from channel and just not respond to you. I do that. You just don't realize you're not getting responses or whatever, or maybe you realize you're blocked but it mitigates the issue. It doesn't draw attention to it or the fact that your comment is even happening, right? That is the smart thing to do and that is what I don't do. Instead, I try to have conversations. Um, there's people who have hated my takes for years, right? And I'm even complimenting one in right before this. Somebody who I see every time there's a comment, it's a disagreement. I still have a respect for that man. And as I do, you. I have nothing but love for you. There is no hate. I am not deleting your comments. I'm not out to get anybody, right? And to see this through the lens that everybody is out to get me, right? Because I, I, man, I'm telling you, when I see stuff like this as a content creator, it got me thinking that there is a large point of people trying to get me. But you're doing the exact same thing you have a problem with. You are jumping to a conclusion without evidence. Luckily, I can disprove this, right? I want what's best for you, man. And if you want to be mad, I'm not trying to win you over. But the next time, right? The next time you're in a bad situation, try to, like, even if it is a lie, say this person, right, has my best interest at heart. Because majority of the time, you'll be right. Um, I wish you the best. And now, I will admit to it, now I'm hiding you from the channel. I'm not making you a martyr. I am hiding you from a channel from this course of events. And I wish you the best, and I don't even remember your name. So you're going to be fine. God bless, guys. Love you.